Uh, only less. Only oh, letter A. Letter A, perfect. So mm -hmm. do you know people with these qualities? Yes. Tell me please, number one. My sister is totally laid back. Good, number two. My dad is pretty generous. My classmate is very honest. Mm, my friend is absolutely wonderful. Mm, June is not competitive at all. Um, Jess is incredibly uh, impatient and impatient. Impatient, yes, impatient. And Esme is fairly dis disorganized. Uh, Camille is completely reliable. Uh, Juan is extremely talented. And Javier is really in inconsiderate. 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 Thank you very much, Danny. Hi, Sue. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Very Thank good. You. Are you ready? Good. Yes, Can you please uh, share with us your sentences? Number one. Um, a friend is totally laid back. He always is relaxed. Okay. He is always relaxed, sorry. Okay. Number two. My dad is pretty generous. He likes help others. He likes to help? He likes to help others. Very nice. Number three. My sister is very honest. She doesn't like liars. Okay. My niece is absolutely wonderful. She's so lovely. <laughs> nice. A friend is not competitive at all. She doesn't like feel the pressure for being the best. Okay. My dad is incredibly impatient. My it's niece okay. is... What? It's okay, yeah, continue. My niece is fairly disorganized. Her things are everywhere. Okay. My neighbor is completely reliable. You can count with her. Nice. My cousin is extremely talented. He can sing and play instruments very well. Very nice. My uncle is really inconsiderate. Mm. He doesn't share chords with his wife. He doesn't what? He doesn't share chords with his wife. He doesn't share food? Chores. He has said it? Chores. Chores. Okay, okay. okay, there you go. Thank you. Next. Now we finish this. Would you compare your sentences? And this is the same. So listen. Listening and speaking, people admire most. Listen. Who do these people admire? Write the people in the chart. Okay, first, all you have to do is write the name. But if you catch more information, go ahead and write it, okay? Ready? Ready. Yes. John, who do I admire? Um, I guess I'd say my best friend. Yeah, my best friend, Max. 
I guess I admire him because he has a lot of problems, but he's always smiling, you know? He has a great sense of humor. And, um, we, we have a lot in common. Like, we're both pretty outgoing. I mean, we like going to parties and things. But we're different in other ways. Like, he doesn't get stressed easily. He's like totally laid back. Me? I'm always stressed. I'm not relaxed at all. Marina. Ooh, good question. Um, my sister. She's really generous. I mean, she's always helping people. Like, she volunteers at a hospital on weekends and everything. We're very similar in some ways. Like, we're both into sports, and we're extremely competitive. Yeah. We both try really hard to win. But I guess she's pretty disorganized. You know, she doesn't always plan things well. And I'm, well, I am pretty organized. Hiroyuki. Someone I admire? Um, my art teacher. He's an extremely talented artist. I mean, his work is totally awesome. But he's very generous with his time. I guess we don't have a lot in common. We both take art pretty seriously. I mean, we both work incredibly hard to get our paintings just right. But I think our personalities are completely different. Like, sometimes he gets really impatient. But I'm fairly patient and easygoing. There you go. So let's begin. Number one. Um, well, John, I'm sorry. Who does John admire? His best friend. His best friend. Okay, why? Mm, because he has problems, but always uh, but he is always smiling and he is laid back okay i'm gonna make it smaller no it's okay there you go what do what do they have in common they are outgoing and like parties and stuff. They are outgoing and like parties? Yeah. And how are they different? Mm, his best friend is laid back, but John, he's stressed for everything. So his best friend is laid back, but John is stressed for everything. Yes. Yeah. There you go. What about Marina? Her sister. Why? Because she's generous. Uh huh. And she always helping people. She always. Yeah, I think. She always. Helping people. She always helping? Mm -hmm. She always helping? No. She helps. Help. She helps? She always helps? No, she helps people without always. Always. <laughs> <laughs> if you have ING, what happens if you have ING? 
Do you remember what happens if you have ing? Mm -hmm. What happens? Uh, she's. She is. She is always help. Yeah. Continue, ladies. What do they have in common? They are competitive. Mm -hmm. Extremely competitive. Extremely competitive? Mm -hmm. What else? Her sister is pretty disorganized and Marina is organized. Sister is pretty disorganized. Pretty disorganized. And Marina is organized. Like that. Okay. What about Ryuki? His teacher. He admire his art teacher. His art teacher. Why? Because he's talented. And his work is good. Okay. They have, what do they have in common? They take art seriously. How are they different? Uh, Hero, you think teacher is impatient. But Hero is fairly patient and is he going? Is he going? Uh, Yuki is patient. Uh -huh, fairly patient and is fairly. going? Fairly. And the teacher is extremely. Um, is he going? She is extremely impatient. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's listen again and check your answers. Ready? Yes. John, who do I admire? Um, I guess I'd say my best friend. Yeah, my best friend Max. I guess I admire him because he has a lot of problems, but he's always smiling, you know? He has a great sense of humor. And um, we, we have a lot in common. Like, we're both pretty outgoing. I mean, we like going to parties and things. But we're different in other ways. Like, he doesn't get stressed easily. He's like totally laid back. Me, I'm always stressed. I'm not relaxed at all. Marina. Ooh, good question. Um, my sister. She's really generous. I mean, she's always helping people. Like, she volunteers at a hospital on weekends and everything. We're very similar in some ways. Like, we're both into sports, and we're extremely competitive. Yeah, we both try really hard to win. But I guess she's pretty disorganized. You know, she doesn't always plan things well. And I'm, well, I am pretty organized. Hiroyuki. Someone I admire? Um, my art teacher. He's an extremely talented artist. I mean, his work is totally awesome. But he's very generous with his time. I guess we don't have a lot in common. We both take art pretty seriously. I mean, 
We both work incredibly hard to get our paintings just right. But I think our personalities are completely different. Like, sometimes he gets really impatient, but I'm fairly patient and easygoing. Outstanding, girls. That was perfect. Do you want to change anything? Um, yes, and John is without without his laid back. And uh, number one, who do you, who do you admire? Not number two. Why? Because he has problems, but is always smiling without his laid back. Laid back. Mm -hmm. It's only in, in common things. Okay. Perfect. Just like that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is there anything else? And yes, and Hiro, Hiroyuki, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And the number four is his teacher is really impatient. I think that's it. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with the next one. Ask and answer the questions between you ladies, okay? Do ask and answer the questions with your classmates. Who do you admire? Why? What do you have in common with that person? And how are you different? An example, who do you admire? I admire my sister. Why? She's extremely friendly and totally reliable. What do you have in common? She, and you continue. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The game, please. Ask and answer. Who do you admire? Uh, I admire my my mom. Mm, why? Because she's she's pretty friendly, generous, and she's extremely honest and down to down to earth. Um, what did you have in common? Well, we don't have a lot of things in common, but I think we are extremely competitive and sometimes practical. Um, how are you different? Uh, She's she's very honest and sometimes I I am arrogant. How about you? Who did you admire? Um, um, I admire my mom. Why? Because uh, she's a really strong woman. She's honest and she's uh, very reliable. What do you have in common? We have many things in common. Mm personality, um, um, ways of being. Okay. How are you different? Um, my mom, um,
my mom my mom yeah um, uh, she's she always think a lot about everything and things and i'm not I think that you can call that I'm fairly risky, but I don't think too much the things. Okay. Pretty teacher. Finish, ladies. Yes, you are. How are you feeling today? You're a little quiet. Are you I okay? I'm tired. You're tired, and you, Danny? Me too. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, what did I do? Let's check if I have it. This is sounds right. Listen and repeat the words. Is the stress in each word like the stress in fairly, admire, arrogant, or correctly? Write the words from the list in the correct columns below. So what we're looking at here are the intonation, the intonations. The word fairly has a strong syllable. Which is the strong syllable? Mm -hmm. Fairly. Yeah, which one is fairly. a strong syllable? Fair. Fair. Fairly. Yes. So it's the book is telling you which one is a strong syllable. Fairly. What about admire? What is a strong syllable in admire? Admire. My. My. Admire. And arrogant. Are. Uh, arrogant. Correctly? Correct. Correct. Correctly. Yes, that's what you're doing. What about number one? Complain. Plain. Plain. Plain, yes. What about dishonest? Oh. Dishonest. What about forget? Get. 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 Very good. What about generous? Che. Yeah. What about helpful? Che. Yeah. What about impatient? Impatient. Mm, what? Impatient. Um, Patient. Reckless. Break. Wonderful. There. There. Wonderful. No, no. Wonderful. Yeah, which one is it? One. One. Borrow. Bow. Oh. Politely. Polite. Politely. No, no. <laughs> Light. Light. Politely. Number 11. Slack. Relax. Patiently. Patient. Patiently. Patiently. Hey. Patiently. 
All right, now let's listen to the audio and check your answers. Ready? Yes. Okay, but let me find the... Uh... Words. Can you hear the audio? Is the stress in each word like the stress in fairly, admire, yes, arrogant, or correctly? Yes, teacher. Write the words from the list in the correct columns below. One. Complain. Two. Dishonest. Three. Forget. Four. Generous. Five. Helpful. Six. Impatient. Seven. Reckless. Eight. Wonderful. Nine. Borrow. Ten. Politely. Eleven. Relaxed. Twelve. Patiently. There you go. So where are the, the strong syllables? Dishonest. Dishonest. Number three. Forget. Forget. Yeah. Four. Mm, yeah. Five. General. So helpful. Number six. We pay. Seven. Reckless. Eight. Yeah. Wonder. Nine. Both. Both. Ten. Both. Mm. Light. Light. Eleven. Black. And twelve. Hey. 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 Write them on your books, please. Tell me when you're finished. Next. What is the church? Ready? Next? Yes.
All right. Please close your books. Let's begin with the next class. There. Can you read so, please? Mm, he's always wasting time. Yes. What do you see in the picture? Mm, he's relaxed. He's supposed to be working, but he isn't. He's, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's at work, but he's not working. Huh? What is he doing? He's playing. He's playing. And what is that? Wasting time. It's time to work. Yeah, but what is he doing? Wasting time. Oh, he's wasting time. Yes, Danny? Okay. Yeah? Easy. Next, what do you see in the picture? He's pretending that he's not listening. <laughs> do you have annoying friends, Danny? Yes, I do. A lot of. You do? Okay, it's a good thing I didn't ask. Do you have an annoying teacher, Danny? Because she will say yes. <laughs> okay, what do your friends do that annoys you? <laughs> when they, I don't know how can, can I say in English, but they are touching you like this. I don't know. <laughs> <it's really fun. laughs> Bothering you, bugging you, teasing you, <laughs> annoying you. Yes. What about you, Danny? What do they do that annoys you? Uh, I I don't know. Uh, maybe I I don't know. I'm pretty I'm pretty really patient. I think. Okay, that's good. Which two habits do you think are the most annoying in a coworker or a classmate? <laughs> For Sue, he, she already said it. For Sue, is this one. Right, Sue? Yes. Um, one more, Sue. And you, Danny, can you see me too? Maybe the image above. This one? That one, yes. What is he doing? What's when happening? Are... I don't know, he's trying to distract her. Ah, distracting her, okay. What about you, Dani? What do you think, uh, Is what two habits are the most annoying? Uh, when I talk a lot of and my classmate is gonna... Silence, Danny, silence. <laughs> okay. When you talk a lot. Yeah. yeah. So you, when your classmate Spanish, tells you to. Difficult for me. What? In Spanish, because in English, it's very difficult for me. But I can imagine you in English and Spanish. <laughs> Easily. All right. So when they tell you to, it annoys you. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm. Mm. Ask in the presentations. Ask the presentations. You mean questions? Uh huh. When I do okay. questions about her presentations, their presentations. That, that annoys you? Or you annoy them? Uh, I am not you. You annoy no, me? They are there. I'm sorry. You annoy them. Mm -hmm, them. Ay, Danny. Ay, Danny. 
All right, now this, from these examples, which two habits do you think are the most annoying in a coworker or classmate? Someone who smiles all the time? Is that annoying? No. No? It could what about, be. It could be? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I'm not if gonna smile. You are talking about uh, really seriously, a really serious thing, and oh. they are they are smiling, or I don't know. You feel that <laughs> are not serious too? Yes, I understand what you mean. Don't worry, I'm not gonna smile. <laughs> okay, what about someone who disturbs people? Mm. Yeah. That's annoying. Not to Danny. Danny says no, right? No. No. <laughs> Criticizes others. Ah, yes. Yes. Yes? yes. Why? Ay, yay, yay. Waste time. Yes. It depends. Sometimes waste time is good. You need to relax. It stands around and talks. Yes. Yeah. If you are a chatterbox, yes, for me it's annoying. And you then? <laughs> for me, yes. It's real. Yes? Oh my good, I couldn't, I can't believe it, Danny. I can't believe it. And talks about people behind their backs. Oh. I agree. Mm -hmm. It's completely annoying. Annoying, sorry. Yeah. So what yeah. do you think, Danny? Is that, is that acceptable too. or annoying? Uh, annoying sometimes. So do you agree on these four, right? Smiles all the time, disturbs people, criticizes others, and talks about people behind their backs. But waste time, not so much, and stands around and talks. Oh, yeah, Danny said, oh, mm -hmm. Danny, oh my gosh. All right, so the next thing we're going to check out is listen. Who is annoying? Are you ready? Yes. Page six. Lesson C. He's always wasting time. 1. Conversation strategy. Describing individual habits. B. Listen. What's Ellie's new coworker like? How is he different from her last coworker? Hey, how are you getting along with your new coworker? He seems extremely friendly. He's always smiling. You mean Jim? Well, yeah, he is, but he never does any work. He's always disturbing people. It drives me crazy. You know, he's always standing around and talking. Well, at least he's pleasant. Yeah, and he's not always criticizing people like that last guy. Yeah, he was pretty bad. He was always talking about people behind their backs. I mean, at least Jim's not like that. But, like, he's always wasting time. You mean like we're doing right now? So, who is annoying? Not me. And the story. Mm -hmm. Got it. Um, Chen? Chen? Or Jen? I don't know. Jen? Chen? Jean? Jim? Uh huh, maybe. Jen, Jen. Okay. I didn't understand the Danny, name. Danny, what do you think? Why? 
because he doesn't he work well. Wasting time and he disturbs what? people. Because he what? He is always wasting time. Is that it? And disturbing people. And he stands and talks I yeah. don't know. It's okay, don't worry, we'll continue with this in a second. Next question is page six. What's their new coworker like? Mm. Ah, you don't know. No? And Page six. That he's not pretty, he's not talks um, in their back. He's not talk. He is not talk. No, sorry. He don't talk. He don't? He doesn't. Uh. Uh, he doesn't talk. Uh -huh. mm. To their back? To their back? Uh, yes. Yeah. And how is he different from the last co-worker? Ah, uh, no, no, no. Listen again. He's different from their last co-worker uh, because he's in your talk behind them. What? <laughs> All right, listen again and check, okay? Page six, lesson C. He's always wasting time. One, conversation strategy. Describing individual habits. B, listen. What's Ellie's new coworker like? How is he different from her last coworker? Hey, how are you getting along with your new coworker? He seems extremely friendly. He's always smiling. You mean Jim? Well, yeah, he is, but he never does any work. He's always disturbing people. It drives me crazy. You know, he's always standing around and talking. Well, at least he's pleasant. Yeah, and he's disturbing people like that last guy. Yeah, he was pretty bad. He was always talking about people behind their backs. I mean, at least Jim's not like that. But, like, he's always wasting time. You mean like we're doing right now? There. So, who is annoying? Jim? Jim? What? Jim? 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 I don't Jean? know. Jim? Okay, Jim. And the name Jing? Jing. I think Jing. Why? Jing. Jing? You already have a Jing here. Jing. Jing. So you go with Jing? Okay, let's go with Jing. So why? Uh, because he's always wasting time disturbing people and he stands and he is standing around and talking. He is standing? He is standing around and talking. And talking. He he is standing. There's something there's something wrong there, honey. He is standing. He's he's he standing. Is. He is standing and talking. Is that it? Or is there more? 
Standing around and talking. Around and talking. Mm. And yeah, Dani? Yeah, that's it. Okay, next question. What's their new co-worker like? He's friendly and always is dishonest. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He's friendly. And what? And always smiling. He's friendly and always smiling? Yes. Okay. And he he's friendly. not always criticizing people. He's not always. What? Mm -hmm. Kitty, criticizing what? people. Criticizing, I don't know. Criticizing? Criticizing people. Criticizing people. Criticizing. Criticizing people. I don't know what that is, criticizing people. people. Is that it? Okay. How is he different from the last co-worker? Mm, he doesn't uh, talk. He doesn't work? Mm, uh, <laughs> no. The last co-worker uh the last co-worker was always talking behind their back but jean or Just jen or whatever doesn't talk. he doesn't he, he doesn't talk uh-huh that's okay let's check it out ready jean chen Jean. And he always. Jean. There. So go ahead and check it. Go ahead. Listen and check at the same time. Page six. Lesson C. He's always wasting time. One. Conversation strategy. A worker like. How is he different from her last coworker? Hey, how are you getting along with your new coworker? He seems extremely friendly. He's always smiling. You mean Jim? Well, yeah, he is, but he never does any work. He's always disturbing people. It drives me crazy. You know, he's always standing around and talking. Well, at least he's pleasant. Yeah, and he's not always criticizing people like that last guy. Yeah, he was pretty bad. He was always talking about people behind their backs. I mean, at least Jim's not like that. But like, he's always wasting time. You mean like we're doing right now? There. Jen, Chen, Jing, Jing. It's Jim. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so who's annoying? Jim. And who else? Jim. The last guy. So who's annoying? Jim and the last guy. The, the last guy? Was the last guy annoying or not? Yes. Yes, the last guy was annoying. Yes. Not to Danny. Danny, no, the last guy wasn't annoying, was handsome. <laughs> All right, so the reference, Danny, is that the guy, the last guy, was always criticizing people. Do you think that's annoying? Yes, a lot. 
Yes, right? And that's what they're saying. I can stand when the people do that. I know. So there you go. So the last guy. Perfect. Now the next question is why? Oh, easy. Jim never does any work. Always disturbing people. Drives me crazy. Disturbing people. He's always standing around and talking. There you go. Yeah. That's the reason why, because of that. So let's do that with a different color. Why? Never does any work, always disturbing people, always standing around and talking. Yes? Danny and Sue? Yes. Yeah. What's their new yes. co worker like? He's not always criticizing people like the last guy. Extremely friendly and pleasant. <laughs> what means pleasant? Nice guy. Nice to talk to. Friendly guy. <laughs> Very polite. Pleasant. Like your teacher, like your English teacher. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good yes. example. Very good. Why example. are you laughing, Danny? Okay, Danny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one. How is he different from their last coworker? Well, he's not always criticizing people. He, right? He's not. Jim yeah. is not like that. Danny? Yes, so so. Teacher, do you can yes. for me well? I'm sorry, again? Uh, so I can hear you. I can hear you. Just you a can second. Yes. Maybe it's your internet because I can hear him very well. You can turn off your camera if you want to, Danny. So, ah, uh, she disconnected. There. Let's continue, uh, Sue. Can you read, please? Notice how Ellie and Max use always and a continuous verb to talk about things people do a lot or more than is usual. Find other examples in the conversation. Good. So. What is the most important part of this paragraph? Always add oh, a continuous oh, verb. Oh, what oh, happened? Ah, oh, Danny. Okay, so always and continuous verb. Always plus verb, ing, mm -hmm. a continuous verb. The example? Always wasting time. It's always wasting time. Can you find the other examples? Sorry, teacher. It's okay, honey. Yeah, just don't turn your camera on so it's better. Yeah, you can turn your camera off so it works better. Yes, he's always like, smiling. What else? Yes, he's always... Disturbing people. He's always standing around and talking. Yes. He's not always criticizing people. He, look at that. He was always talking about people behind their backs. Um, he's always wasting time. Perfect. Those are the, 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 the examples. Yes, Danny? Yes, teacher. Please. Teacher. Yeah. I can use always with present continuous. 
Yes, but you use it. Please read this part. Read the notice. Uh, how Ellie and Matt use always in a continuous verb to talk about things people do a lot of, ah, or more than is usual. Ah, okay. Find other examples in the conversation. Ah, okay, okay. So, things people do a lot or more than usual. Yes? Okay. Okay. Next. Practice the conversation, ladies, please. Hey, how are you getting along with your new coworker? He seems extremely friendly. He's always smiling. Jim and Jim? Well, yeah, he's, but he never does any work. He's always disturbing people. It drives me crazy. You know, he's always standing around and talking. Well, Adel, this helps pleasant. Yeah, and he's not always criticizing people like that last guy. Yeah, he was pretty bad. He was always talking about people behind their backs. I mean, at least Jim's not like that, but like he's always wasting time. You mean like we're doing right now? Very good, ladies. Thank you. Now, do you or your friends have any annoying habits? What? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. There, in your books, change the underlying parts of these sentences to describe habits. Use always and a continuous verb. But which verb? This verb. Good thing. Now, let's look at the computer for a second. Fixes, brings, told, made, comes, complains, buys, and cancels. Now, look. Let's look at the example in the computer. I'm pretty disorganized. I lose things. How do you say this sentence with always and a continuous verb? I always lose things. Remember, be always verb ing. So I always I lose things. I'm always losing things. I am, what's next? Always. Always. Losing. Losing. Things. Things. Or the contraction form? I'm. I'm. Okay. What about number two? How do you number two? We are always singing together. Very good. Go ahead, continue, please. All of them in your books.
Finished them? Yes, teacher. Danny, are you, are you finished, Danny? Yes. Can you please compare your answers? And if your answer is the same, write it on the chat, on the screen, please. Okay. I can write on the screen. No, type it on the chat and I'll transfer it. Okay, the number four. Three. Uh, my brother is really generous with his time. He's always fits in my computer. Yes. It's the next one. He's always coming home late. Always coming, uh huh? And the other part. And he's always bringing work how we do with him late, with him too. Mm. Mm, he's always bringing, bringing work home. Mm -hmm. He's always bringing work home. Yes, I do too. Okay. Uh, number five, she's always making us laugh. Mm -hmm. She's and always she's always talking jokes. Yes. Number six is always complaining. A friend of mine is always complaining. Mm -hmm. And she's always Buying? Yes. Number seven. Yes. He's always in selling mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Are you finished? Yes. yes. But you didn't write it on the chat, did you? Okay, I'm doing it. Do you write number two, do two, four, and six? So that's a good plan. And me, three, five, and seven? Yes.
number two? Mm. Yes, number two, we're always singing together. Together, okay, the you, together. Number three. Fixing my computer. Uh, well, I'm going to do it blue instead. Number four, he's always coming home late. Sorry, I forgot to write the number. Okay, that's good. Number five, Danny. Danny. Yes, sir. I forgot something. Uh, always, she's always. Yeah, so let me check. We are always singing together. Good. He's fixing. Is that correct? Always. He's always coming from late. He's always bringing, bringing work. Bringing work home. Yeah. Does it show? Did you write it down? No, it doesn't show. Okay. She's it's making us laugh. Always. Number six. She's always complaining. She's always buying what? Okay. Number seven. It's always canceling plans. The last time. Okay, so let's check. Number last uh, minute. Yeah, last minute. Number two is good. Number three. Always. Is always. Fixing my computer. Number four, he's always coming home late, period. Capital H. He's always bringing work home. Something like that. Next. She's oh. she, she is. Mm -hmm. oh. She is. No. You didn't compare answers. Uh, best. So what do you have? She was. Yes. Oh, yeah. She was. She was always making us laugh. And then? Uh, she's always. She was always telling jokes. Mm -hmm. Telling jokes. She was always telling jokes there. Number six, he's always complaining. He's always buying. Okay, I guess that's the, the reduced, right? Uh, version, not the complete sentence. He's always canceling plans at the last time. He's always minute. Minute. There, go ahead and write your answers, please, so we can continue. Let me know when you're finished. 
In number six was she, no? She wa she's always complaining. Yes, she is always complaining. She's broke. Complete sentence. She is always complaining. She's broke, but she's always buying expensive uh, herself expensive clothes. All right, finish, ladies? Yes. Okay, let's continue. What do you see in the picture? Mm. The other person is bothering. Yeah. Look at that cute little face. <laughs> right. You, that's you, right? At least three annoying habits you or your family or friends have. Please. Are you finished? No, teacher. Okay. Is, uh, is it okay if I say she with an open mouth? Can you repeat that? Chew. Chew. Yeah. Chew with open mouth. With yes. open mouth? Yes. Teacher is open mouth or mouth open? I write mouth open. Uh, what is open? Uh, my cousin always eating with her mouth open. One more time, can you repeat that? My cousin always eating with her mouth open. There is something wrong with your sentence. Go back to the beginning. My cousin. Oh, okay. My cousin is is always eating with her mouth open or open mouth. Uh, you can say with her mouth open or. With an open mouth. Okay. Thank you. Or with her mouth open. Thanks, teacher. Yeah. You're welcome. Mm, it's okay if I say using devices with loud volume. While you are watching TV, uh, one more time, please. Using devices with loud volume while you are watching TV. What are they listening to? Music or yes. is this music? music is or YouTube videos or or something? Okay, if it's music, it's just loud music. 
uh, listening to loud music while I'm watching TV. And if it's another uh, uh, something else, is listening to a, a show with yes, um, with the loud uh, uh, with high volume, with high volume. High volume. While I watch TV. Are you ladies finished? Because we're almost out of time. Yes, I did. I have only two. <laughs> it's okay. Share. Share, please. Uh, my girl's not always eating with her mouth open. It's one, very one, annoying. One and... more. One more time, Danny. Can you repeat your sentence? Mm -hmm. My cousin is always eating with her mouth open. It's very annoying. Yeah, there you go. Another one? And the second one is my friends are always taking photos. I don't like it. <laughs> I imagine. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Sue? My aunt always talking a lot. One more time. Can you repeat your sentence? My aunt is always talking a lot. There you go. Is always talking. There you go. One more. Mm. My knee uh, is your knee? always. Your my knee. knee. You mean my your knee. leg? My knees. Knees. Your knees. Yeah, your knees. Perfect. Yes. My knees is always chewing with open mouth. Chewing. Chewing with open mouth. With an open mouth. And with an open and mouth. Open, open mouth. Okay, there you go. Do you have something else? Or is that it? And my dad is always using devices with high volume while I'm watching TV. <laughs> it's your dad, Sue. It's okay. It's your father, right, Annie? Tell her. Tell her. It's okay. <laughs> but it's annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we're finished for today. We're going to finish this tomorrow. Okay? Yes, teacher. Thank How you for the class. How was the class? Funny. I, I also know funny. Like it. Yeah. Dan didn't like it. She's not even speaking. Remember, tomorrow you have a master class at 7 p.m., okay? Yes. So tomorrow we'll finish the class at seven and at seven you can. Oh, but tomorrow you have a class at six. Let's check that out. Tomorrow is master class, right? Yes, it's tomorrow. It's right here. I want to share it with you. Danny, are you there? Are you listening? Danny? Danny? I'm sorry. I My microphone, it was turned off. Your microphone was? It was, yes. Not it was. Your microphone was? Was. <laughs> yes, okay. This is the master class. Psicología del aprendizaje de idiomas. It's tomorrow, Wednesday, May 2nd at 6 p.m. So tomorrow we're going to have class then. Okay, tomorrow at 6 p.m. you will have the master class at 6 p.m. And then at 7, this one. 
from seven to nine on May. Oh, it's not tomorrow. This is on on Thursday. Okay, then tomorrow Wednesday we'll have a class from six thirty to seven thirty. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then on Thursday we have class from six to seven. And on Thursday you will you will go to the class at seven p.m. Or is that okay? Okay, sure. Yes. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? No. I think all good. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, ladies. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.